In this lesson, we will learn some circle properties. To begin, we need to learn a few definitions. As you have already seen, the red line segment here is called a chord. Now if we have an angle such that its vertex lies on the circle, we call that angle an inscribed angle. So here we will say that angle X is an inscribed angle. To be more precise, we can say that angle X is an inscribed angle holding or containing chord AB. So if we imagine that the ends of the two line segments have hands, angle X can be thought of as holding chord AB. Now please note that if we remove this chord, we can see that angle X is still holding arc AB. So we can say that angle X is an inscribed angle holding arc AB. As you can see, if an inscribed angle is holding a chord, it is also holding an arc. So the properties that we examine in this lesson will pertain to both chords and arcs. Okay, we're ready for our first property. If we have an inscribed angle holding a chord, and we have another inscribed angle holding the same chord, then both inscribed angles will be equal. So the property is that inscribed angles holding the same chord or arc are always equal. So if we add another inscribed angle holding the same chord, then that angle will be the same as the other two angles. Please note that this rule applies only if the inscribed angles in question are all on the same side of the chord. So for example, an inscribed angle on the other side of chord AB will not be the same as the other inscribed angles. The next property involves chords of equal length. If one inscribed angle holds one chord, and another inscribed angle holds this other chord, then both inscribed angles will be equal. The property can be summarized as follows. Inscribed angles holding chords of equal length are equal. The next property involves a very special chord that passes through the center of a circle. This chord is known as the diameter. Now if we have an inscribed angle holding the diameter, then that inscribed angle must equal 90 degrees. So we can say that an inscribed angle holding the diameter is a right angle. For the next property, we must introduce another definition. An angle that has its vertex at the center of a circle is called a central angle. So here, angle AOB is a central angle holding chord AB. Now here comes the property. If we have an inscribed angle holding a chord, and that angle is X, then the central angle holding the same chord will be 2X. To summarize this, we can say that a central angle is twice as large as an inscribed angle holding the same chord or arc. Okay, here's one last property. It begins with a definition. If we have a line that touches a circle at only one point, then we say that that line is tangent to the circle. Now if we draw a line from the center of the circle to the point of tangency, then this line will be perpendicular to the tangent line. So we will say that the line from the center to the point of tangency is perpendicular to the tangent line. Okay, that wraps up circle properties. In this lesson, we learned five circle properties that you need to know.